Yeah. What's good? It's your boy, Cadillac Jackson, back in the building. You already know what it is. Season three, episode two. And for the people who don't like episodes and don't like seasons, episode 16. Let's get it. (laughs) Oh, my goodness. This kid is a problem. (laughs) (laughs) What's going on, boy? You're done, though. It's your boy, OG Sneakers. And color me salty. Treason have me salty. I totally upset about all this thing going on, but we're going to talk about it. We're glad you're here. Talk to the professor because right now, me don't want to talk to you at all. And it's your Jedi, a.k.a. the Yellow Man, uh, <laughs> a.k.a. <laughs> a.k.a. Stokely Michael, a.k.a. Martin King, a.k.a. Jack Swagless. And this is season three, so two. Hopefully y'all can hear me okay. I'm patient getting those those dope interviews that you're looking for, getting that inside information. I'm going to try and rock with you as much as this hotel internet works. That's why I'm yellow right now, looking like SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> we in the building. Uh, I don't even have the chat up right now because it's not working. Like this high speed internet, not so high speed. Mm. So I would need somebody else to get the shout outs to, to, the, to the nation for me real quick. Yeah, you okay. might have to pay that extra five dollars and get the super five dollars. Oh, it's I'm, I'm I paid the five dollars though. That's the problem. Ooh, ooh. The five. Oh, that's not good. That's bad. That's bad. So it's let's bad, see man. what's what, what what's good to sneakerholic bees. V's kicks is in the building. Jamie White, what's good, family? Uh we delayed, but we not denied tonight. Q the Queen is in the building. G N what up? Say good evening to 804, the king of foams. Uh, let me see. Dunn's Kicks is in the building. <laughs> Cali, Cali Park 81 is in the building. <laughs> <laughs> I see that cute queen. Wow. Oh. She's going in early. OD said you turned the tricks up on this <laughs> time. Oh, well, uh, no. let me, since, since we're going to put it out there. Uh, cute queen, you missed your appointment, so I will be charging you double. <laughs> bang bang! Uh, uh, they they named him Pound Cake. The man that keeps you laughing, Big Hurt is in the building. The talent, the talented Mister is in the buildings. In the building, sports guy Q is in the building. What's a good family? Let's see who else is sliding in here under the wire. Shoe Line Express, that's new. Welcome. Welcome. Shoe Line Express, I think, follows on the ground. Oh, okay. Yes, yes sir. I just don't remember seeing him in the chat over here. So welcome over to the other side. Yes, full circle. Sure. Talking kicks all day. Uh, I'm still adjusting stuff on my camera, so keep it rocking. Keep it rocking. Yeah, uh, I think that... Let me see. Did I miss anybody? Did I miss anybody? Did I miss anybody? I don't think so. Oh, Brian Franklin's Kicks is in the building. What's good, family? Appreciate you uh, jumping in to rock with us on a Wednesday night. Um, Yeah, so uh, if y'all didn't catch that, uh, Beard is actually on the road this week, uh, but uh, he's still with us, so we're trying to work through this uh, uh, hotel internet situation, and uh, Trying to see if he can make some adjustments on his camera so he doesn't look like um, Yellow Man. They won't call you SpongeBob, I just call you Yellow Man. Squeak, wah! Looking like Bert, <laughs> Bert and Ernie around this uh, Muppet style around this bitch. I, I turned the camera on. I was like, you guys look like I'm in the CD hotel. This is a courtyard. Uh, <laughs> and uh, Don Turner in the building. New proud papa. We, 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 had, we had, Don Turner got to get a new name. We also had another uh papa. Um was it was it Mr. Skinny, Skinny Boo? Mr. Mr. Skinny. Yeah, so congratulations to Mr. Skinny. Oh, uh, shout Dirk. out to the family. Absolutely. 
Yeah. Congrats, congrats, congrats. Was it a boy or girl, or do we know? Uh, it was a girl. Girl, all right. Girls reign supreme. Mr. Skinny came to the gym with the family with both feet. Got the bed <laughs> out the way. <laughs> he came in like, I want all my properties right now. I need everything I'm supposed to get right. Yep, 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 yep. How was the uh how's the audio sound? Is it straight? You 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 coming up, you coming up. Maybe it's just you were buffering. Okay. Buffering, buffering. Okay. It's it's coming up. Oh, it's know, coming on stronger. Good. It's coming on. Uh, so you know what we do. We're gonna get into the, the how we roll out. Uh let's get into a little bit of that hump beat. Hump day here real quick, because my auntie was the driving shoes today. I went with the Kobe elevens. The Kobe Elite Elevens, red and black things on there for you. Are, are these called the Achilles? The Achilles ones? I don't you have to ask the resident expert, uh, Mr. Jackson? Uh, yes, the lines on the back show the stitches where Kobe had from his Achilles surgery. I think everybody will have that on their shoes here. <laughs> all Achilles, it's all Achilles. TL's rupturing this year. This is hot in the streets. Yeah, man. It's not, not looking good. Nothing good. Uh, shout out to Mr. Bear76 sliding into the chat. Appreciate you coming through. Um, uh, Caddy, you want to drop your heat or you want me to go? I can drop mine. Uh, today it was snowing here in New York City. It was a little nasty. So I broke out the beaters, broke out those Air Force One foam posits in that matte black colorway. Okay, I need to talk about those shoes. Yes, sir. First of all, are they comfortable? Um, they're not bad. That's all I, I, I can give you. Like they're not bad. They're not great. It's like a very it looks like a very big, bulky, uncomfortable shoe. It is very big. It 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 feels like a pair of Tim's when you wear them. Oh, okay. Well, I got it. I, but they're indestructible, so therefore, perfect for the weather. You know, you know how phone positive is. Yeah, yeah, perfect for the weather. Uh, did we already say what's up to B Frank? Brian Franklin's uh, kicks in the building. We did, we did. Yes, sir. Uh, Sneaker Holly B said, "Hump Day Heat Chinese New Year sixes on feet. Ain't took them off since I copped them. Well, yeah. might want to let those toes breathe, brother. We wasted <laughs> no time. Aaron knows out." Yeah, you might. I mean, if you're going to take them off, that might be the one time, and that's it. One time for the one time. Yes, what so, you have uh, on today, OG? For me, uh, uh, the homie uh, Jumpman Bosick is doing a lot of uh, his um, uh, uh, Black History Month uh, shoes uh, in the month of February. So um, I grabbed uh, a Black History Month Kyrie one. Oh. This was from that year where all the Black History Month shoes were, you know, that black and white uh, combination. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, I just threw these on today. It wasn't uh, quite uh, snow, but we did get some uh, some sleet and freezing rain in the overnights. And then the rest of the day, uh, it rained for the most part. But uh, very comfortable, very comfortable. I always enjoy them. I just... I did an on foot and then I, I didn't post it because I like to wear these unlaced. And like when you take it from the back, it just, you know. Oh, hey, yo. <laughs> yo. Oh, yo. 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 Then you take the picture. <laughs> yo. You know the, you know the funny part about that was? Right after you said that, Beard's whole connection got clear. <laughs> it came in loud and clear. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, my goodness. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, Thought I was the one trying to drink. Who's in the CD hotel? Uh, right. Anyway, well, just, it, it, you know what? I'm not even going to finish the sentence <laughs> now. I'm just going to sit over here and be quiet now. But uh, what, what did y'all have on in the chat today? Let me just go straight to the chat. Thank you, Big Hurt. Pause, pause. Yes. Uh, you said pound cake with the Kyrie's Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. Oh. Everyone hesitated. 
Like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's happening in the building. With I the <laughs> uh, big boy down south, Al. That looks like a new name to me. What's good, fam? Appreciate you uh, checking in. I'm trying to blow through that. Y'all got to get over it now. It was a moment. Let's keep it moving. This racism is killing me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, oh man. Uh, that was great. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely on the list, B. Frank. He said he wanted to talk about the sneaky drops. Now he's been doing real slick. Like, we're going to talk about that for sure. Uh, Dunn's kicks had on the copper phones. So that's what's up. Um, anybody else got no kicks on? Y'all was lazy today? Beaters. Uh, sports got Q had on the white cement threes. Uh, white cement? Beater mm-hmm. white cement? Okay. Yeah, if you got beat up beater white shoes, you out here looking real untrustworthy, bro. I don't trust people with dirty white shoes on. Mm-hmm. Heads ain't ready is uh, also jumped uh, jumped in the chat. I don't know if we shouted him out before, but heads ain't ready. Uh, this is a new name, Big Boy Down South, A L Alabama. Yeah, that's what I had uh, said. I thought that's that I thought that was somebody new. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Welcome, 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 welcome. Absolutely, absolutely. We're trying to work through these raggedy connection issues, y'all. So, so bear with us, man. I'm in the hotel and I pay for the high speed, but they give me the low speed. You know what I'm saying? So we're trying to rack up with this chat and make everything pop in here. Uh, be the white sneakers are suspect. Thank you. I'm saying, bees. You can't have be the white sneakers, bro. I need you to fix that. Um, there you go. Everybody's calling you out, Sports Guy Q. It wasn't just me. Everybody agrees with what I said. They Damn agreed to. Damn, Q. Q be going hard. She's like, yeah, you out here bogus in the streets. Mm-mm. She she like to, chill, right? You gotta she like the chat police. Chill, sis. It's, it's gonna be all right. You're doing it. <laughs> Damn delivery. He said they're not dirty. <laughs> just my go-to kicks. And it was my reintroduction to the sneaker game in 2011. And he didn't type it, but he meant to, you motherfuckers. It's right on the end. Y'all don't see it. But he said <laughs> he said you motherfuckers at the end of that. Mm-hmm. Orion was- Sevens rain all day. Uh, before we get into our pickups, because I don't know that we have a lot of pickups, I want to make sure that we let y'all know. go to Footer Society. Use Talking Kicks online. You get a 10% off discount. That's on what they got coming. And if you're looking to secure those BC3s, if you're looking to get a pair, make sure you got a pair. Footer Society may have a few that you can go ahead and get the pre order on. Now, you have to talk to them about the money. You got to do with that. That's our family, but that's their bread. So you need to talk to them. Get in line so you don't have to be in line. Get you a pair of lockdown from the crew. And maybe they'll let you lose that 10%, use that 10% off too. So, you know, it won't hurt as bad. You know what I'm saying? You can you can be prepared or you can be in line. You figure it out for yourself. Big hurt but rocking you know them desert, desert, storm, desert storm foams. Say that three times fast. <laughs> big hurt. Hey, man, big hurt. I need you to have some restraint on your Instagram. We say this every week and you don't listen. You don't listen. He's very disrespectful on Instagram. Oh, bruh, I can't. My, I, I, I made a mistake and I showed my oldest daughter like something from his. And I was like, "What are you doing?" She's like, "Oh, I'm adding him right now." I was like, "Nah, baby. you did it to yourself. You did it to yourself." <laughs> I, I just said, you did it to I, yourself." I, then they, I said, "I made the mistake." So, listen, uh, once yeah. you watch Big Hurts IG, you will never ever unfollow him ever like everything he puts up is hilarious now he didn't have something that made me want to unfollow like some of that shit you know i can't be watching people fall off buildings i, I wasn't ready for that oh yeah that, I that one I, I dropped the phone on that one who yeah <laughs> uh dre day we talking about footage society man holly footage society if you want those bc3s they got they're able to get a few secured pairs so if you want to get in holly footage society.com you know holly nicole See so if you can get in there on the BC3s and, uh, you know, you'll be straight. Yeah, Pay that money. The sister, Jamie White, said Footage Society got heat, but really they down heat now because she went and drained the swamp, man. She she, she went through there, used her uh, her winnings, and uh, uh, came out with some gems. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, wait, before you go any further, Q, 
um, what is, if I don't get them PG2 PlayStation joints, I'm going to cry and eat a bucket of vanilla ice cream with some pound cake. <laughs> oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Is this a set? Wait a minute. Ma'am, ma'am, this is a family show. show. Yes. You, if you need to clean, do we need to clean this up? Yes. yes do we need to clean this up? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Damn. So do. Maybe not. Maybe it's, you know, we just, this is breaking news. Hey, it's all good. None of, none of my business. Out there. <laughs> none, of my business. <laughs> none of my business. But if I get a pair of them PG twos, <laughs> <laughs> we got to see. <laughs> We got to see what's going on. Got him that Spice Adams. Ha ha. Ha ha. Got to see what's popping. Mm-hmm. I want to know what you're going to do, girl. You know? There's supposed to be a family show, Q. Oh. There's supposed to be. Pickups. Do supposed we, to be. Do, do we hit like a, um? is this like a first time? I think this is like a first time. This is the first time, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think we have any pickups. And that's really because the All Star break is coming. The All Star break I mean, is I coming. Imagine that next week we should all have. Hopefully, if we play this right, we should all have at least. I would hope. Well, actually, it'll be the show after that, right? Yeah. Because the BC threes drop next weekend, so we mm-hmm. very well might not have it. Well, next week we're off. So there you mm-hmm. go. Next week is Valentine's Day, so there won't be a show next week. The yes, pickups yes. that we have would not be suitable for TV. Ooh, I'm selling somebody's kids for some sneakers. Mm. But don't yeah. don't uh, Don Turner's or uh, Mrs. Kidney's. No, they just got them. I got to sell Don Turner with the kid. That's a package deal. <laughs> 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 baby, like implanted on his chest. The baby ain't going nowhere. The, the, Look at the chat. Dre they kicks they get the hell out of here. No pickups. No pickups, no. bro. We ain't got nothing. We out here catching them L's. We ain't got nothing. Just like everybody else. Catching them hard L's. Sneakerholic Bees is asking, um, you asking about a talking kick key, talking kick T. What what do we All got right, left? So, <clears throat> the talking kick T's. If you are a 3X, we've got a shirt. I believe we have a 2X. And if you are a medium. We've got a few mediums left. We've got a, I think we have one or two three X's and one two X. And we've got a ladies large. And that's about it. Y'all, y'all went through those. Like I said, it was one of those things we weren't trying to start up a whole store. So the pre-orders got in and then, you know, we ordered a few extras and they went. The funny thing is that I don't think anybody ordered. It was either a large or extra large. Nobody ordered. So I ordered like four or five of those. Those are already gone. Those were the first ones gone. Of the extra, mm. so um, we might do another run if we do another season like that. But uh, unfortunately, that's it. If you men's large secret Holly bees, yeah, we we. I mean, you know, you can either get that three X and wear it as a gown, but you can wear that women's medium and just be lucky. You got you got guns. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it might you might look like you got hips. I don't know if you're down with that, but you have to. <laughs> the sleeves will look right. Yeah, that arms yeah. will be like straight. Sneakerholic B says he's a men's large. Yeah, he's he's out there, bro. We ain't, we ain't got no men's large. Mm. No large, pick it up. No large, pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> My shoe game tight all day and all night, running through. Um, he said he finally used that one fifty. Oh, he did. That's what it says. What did what did you pick up? Uh, shoe game. Yeah, let us know. Y'all gotta let us yeah, know. Yeah. I need a racer back tank. Look, cute queen. Nobody wants to see your arms all day. Mm, mm, mm. College Park eighty one picked up the Green Gator eight sixes and the BC threes. Okay, all right. I'm gonna need anybody that got the BC threes early. Oh, he hurt. <laughs> I can't right now. Please, he, he just waits some more like towards the end. You know, like now. No. Oh, gee, how many pairs no. of BC threes do you have? One. You only got the one two, pair? Just the 2000, I'm, the 2000 ones. That's, that's it. Only the 2000 ones. How, just, how many pairs do you plan on picking up on the 17? I need at least two. I got to have two. I need two. I'm not going to go any further than that because there's more stuff. You know, I just don't want to be greedy, but I need two. I need two pair. 
I need two pair. Shoe Line Express picked up the Jordan 7 Olympics um, from 2112. I'm sure that's supposed to be two. <laughs> from the future. <laughs> I need to see those right now. I need your I need your email address so that we can bring you into the chat. I mean, we need to bring you into the feed because I need to see those right now. I'm now, gonna go ahead the, and say that they're fake. If we got if we got <laughs> if we got the twenty one hundred twelve, I will go ahead and say I'm gonna go out on the. Them, them Fugazi, right? Yes, sports guy Q. I need two per. Yes, exactly. I need two per. Give me two per. I, I, I need just need one. All I need is one. <clears throat> Pre order threes with Footage Society. That's what's up, Shoe Gang. We appreciate that. Yeah, so that's a smart move. That's a good way to use that money, brother. Make it work. Oh, that's what he did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's. I, they, they now look. They might ban you from going to the store to pick. <laughs> they might throw you out. That's <laughs> shit right there. He's like, yeah. He's like, I won. Right He's like, I won. Um, put that toward Give those beefy threes. Yeah. Co Collie Park, <laughs> you, are, like, you are exactly right. My two per is a must. So if y'all want me to not be in a bad mood, just you know, just make sure something happens. You know, y'all help your boy out. Um, you know. Consider, you know, helping a senior citizen. Just you know, help me out. You, you know what happens if, go if, if you don't get two pair. I was gonna say y'all don't want to do. Y'all don't want to see a show. First of all, he probably won't do the show. If we come back after the seventeenth, I just, I just, I just I, I, all I wanted was. I just, I just. Damn, OG. Oh, wanted just, just. Womp, womp. But you had a friend. Black cement threes. That's 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 all. You ain't getting none, big fella. <laughs> you thought you was cool, but you ain't getting no goddamn shoes. I, I didn't need anything. Just I didn't need no LeBron watches. I, I just needed two. Oh, you oh you taking L's L's. <laughs> I, <want. laughs> I can't, man. I can't. Problem, man. So we ain't got no pickups. So I guess we're going straight to to the lace up. Is that where we at? Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, lace up. We have the lace up. I'm gonna go ahead and set the time. We got the things to talk. I do not have the chat, so y'all have the man the chat while I got the yes, the timer. All right, so y'all know how we do in the lace up. We have. We we have some some topics that we're gonna discuss and uh we're on the timer for those topics. Six minutes. When the timer six the minutes timer, on the clock. We gotta keep it moving. So um what do we got up first, Professor? First for this week. That's how it starts. It always throws us out, right? It's like, wait, it's over already. Uh the Justin Timberlake threes. Or do we call them the Justin Tinker Hatfield threes? Is that is that what it is? It's the JTH, which is Justin Timberlake Tinker Hatfield threes. That's well, that should blue. be the JTTH. Thank you. I was going to say the same thing. But in, anyway, the fact that we've got a signature shoe that's an <clears> alternate <throat> that didn't get picked that Justin Timberlake wore at the halftime show and apparently did a bad halftime show, uh, did a surprise release. Um, I think we may know of by association, one or two people who got them. I don't know who in the chat got them. But what were your thoughts on the shoe? I'm going to start with you, Caddy. What was your thoughts on the shoe? And what did you think of the release? Oh, for the release, well played, Nike. Well played. Um, you sl you slipped that under the radar mighty quick there. Um, you must only had like five pair because they sold out in six seconds. <laughs> uh, what did I think of the shoe? Hmm. Does I I I could have did without the swoosh. I could have <laughs> did. I could have did without the swoosh. The swoosh was nothing spectacular. It was a three M swoosh, and you know that it had Justin's signature and Tinker signature on the inside. That was it. 
that was the only difference from a white cement three. So, yeah, miss me with that. Take the swoosh off. Give me the white cement three. You can leave the signatures in. You just still got hype over that. Um, if they said Dre Day kicks, if they said 500 pairs, somebody is lying. There was like four pair and those joints was gone in like three seconds. Literally, it came up on the app, sold out. Like, no, no, Darnell. These are gone, Darnell. Like, yeah. Yeah, everybody I saw <laughs> online when they dropped, it was like, everybody was saying the same thing. All this left is like two and a half and eight. And I was like, how the hell did that happen? Maybe they're releasing, maybe it was a flash release by size. Maybe all that came out this time was two and a half and eight. And maybe next time it'll be 11s and 12s or some shit. I don't know, but the the shoe itself is a white cement three, so the shoe is a win. Mm-hmm. You got the swoosh in there, I, yeah, whatever. It's three M shit, you know. It's, it's getting a little out of hand, but okay. It's a white cement three, so that part of me was like, that's cool. But the whole Justin Timberlake tie-in, I, it felt a little weird, and I thought that Scoop's reply, not Scoop, uh, Skip goes hard. He was basically saying that everybody became a high beast because all of a sudden everybody's got to have that shoe. Everybody's got to have it. I don't necessarily agree because it was a white cement three. We love mm-hmm. that shoe. But when we saw the tinker with the gray part, our problem was that it looked like a flight. They switched it up this time, and it's, it's a different shoe. It's a different shoe. So I think, you know, there's room for you to like it. <clears throat> I don't know how people – I think more people were upset because they didn't get the opportunity to even think about it because you don't even know if you want that shoe. Once it releases, you got to see it on the screen, and that's it. And then it yeah, was Nike, gone. You don't even, Nike made the decision for you. Like, don't worry, you won't have it. That's it. Uh, and if you got it, you can return it later. But the resale I'm seeing on these is like two grand. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Because there's going to be more of these. There's like so. This was set up for his tour. There'll be other opportunities to get either this shoe or other shoes in this line coming up. So it was, it was a quick grab. Um, I think Damn D got a pair. But no, I didn't see. Any no, he, he lied about that. <laughs> he lied? Yeah, he didn't get a pair. So was he setting that up as a joke video? Or yeah, was it, just it, was a jo- it was a joke video. Oh. Oh, there you go. So Damn D didn't get a pair either. OG, how do you feel about those? Um, I like that pair better than I do the Tinker Sketches. Um, when I was watching the, you know, the the halftime, I thought it was just um, OG White Cements. I thought he had on 88s. I couldn't really see the swoosh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I don't, I just felt like when they do that, you know, mystery drop, it's like, Everybody, it's like playing the key master. You know, you're just trying to see sometimes if you can get it in. Whether you like the shoe or not, it's almost just that, oh, let me, you know, let me see if I could try type of situation. Um, I had my app open and I got three times to try to buy the first. I it automatically did my true fit size. It came back and said it wasn't available. Try again. I tried half size up. Same thing came back. Then the last time I just tried to try anything, and I think I tried to grab a a 10 because that's what was shown was available. And then it finally said sold out. But, um, I mean, I'm okay with it. I I wish that they would do more kind of balance when they do that. In other words, you know, do something like that, but have more pairs available. Don't just do it when you have um, uh, only five pairs because I think it's going to turn people off. I I think it's going to cease being cool. It's going to be like, Nike on that bullshit. I'm not even going to try. Um, yeah. But uh, I, you know, I would have been okay with it. I, I I'll ask you guys this question. Um, I think I've heard that some of the prices were, you know, like above five thousand dollars of resale. I don't know if they actually sold, but at least people ask it. So if you had it, would it be absolutely for the flip, or you just keep it and rock it? The white pair, I would probably, for that kind of money, I don't like the shoe that much to keep it. You know what I mean? If, if you're talking about a grand, two grand, three grand, four grand, five grand, you can have any shoe in my fucking collection for five grand. 
I don't give a shit. It, it could be the royal one. Love y'all niggas, but five grand, they got to go. And, 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 and I ain't mad at you. That royal one. Yeah, but so that shoot, nah, it's, it wasn't that hot. You know what I mean? It wasn't that hot to me at all. Five grand, same day delivery. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be at your door like got, got your new sho- got your new shoes, big fella. <laughs> like, uh, like five grand. If I'm if I pay two hundred dollars for a shoe and the flip is five grand, bruh, yeah. that shoe is gone. I can I can yeah. live with a jump man on the back. That's fine. Absolutely, because that's the pair I got now. Yeah, I can live with the jump good. What's the uh, what's the chance about those? Yeah, I I, I agree. I, I would be the same way. It'd be I'd be real hard pressed to to, Warrior, to slow down trying to get it to where Warrior it, Blood was good. Go uh, Warrior Blood said, "Wasn't a surprise. They gave the box ample time to run tasks. Sneakers hella weak for their mm-hmm. their security BS." Shoe Lines Express says, can't keep your phone down for the rest of the month, which is very, very true. Because ever since then, everybody, ever since the Black Cement 3 drop, everybody been on the sneakers app every day. Like, got to check in. Got to check in. Yeah. You know, I have a question. So how how is it now that it is it that you can do the sneakers app through your Nike account on the computer? Is that what it is now? You can. You can buy um, because what I'm trying to understand is, all right, somebody had made a comment. Uh, I think it was Dre Day Kicks said that somebody hit like a, a bunch of pairs using a bot. So are they using a bot mm-hmm. on the phone? Or are they using a? Are they accessing sneakers through a computer and doing a bot? Because I'm trying to understand how you how you work in a bot off an app on a cell phone. I mean, it's yes. yeah. We- Warrior Blood said the same thing. So it must be it's somewhere in the game, somewhere that people have figured it out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did, we, did we talk about this or was this just in our chat? Would you consider getting a bot? Mm, we mentioned this before. I wouldn't consider it because the consequences. If, if you're caught with a bot, from what I've heard, if Nike catches you with a bot, your IP address is pretty much banned. Um, if you do it through... A uh, remote server, you could probably get away with it. Mm-hmm. Um, but me personally, it, it's it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Um, the last thing I would want is to be setting up fake accounts all damn day because I'm banned. They'd be like, "You again? You're back, Cadillac? No, th- no, thank you. No, but, thank you." We- but, but let me see, let me ask you this: Do you have to use it? I mean, you don't have to use it multiple times. Right, you can just get in, get the one pair you want, and get out. And there's, yeah, not, I guess that's not gonna, or is that gonna still give you the same issue? I mean, I'm getting one shoe. What are you gonna ban me for? But so the the cost of the bots would make you want to use it more often, right? Like it's not mm-hmm. it's not a twenty dollar bot. It's, no, I yeah. get that. But what I'm saying is, I'm not, I'm, I'm not. If I'm not using it to get 15 pair, if I'm using it just to make sure that I secure my pair, I'm, yeah, but no, it's just I, getting in there faster than anybody else. Am I still? Do I still run the risk of of having that issue? Yeah, you still well, run yeah. the risk of, of being caught. Yeah, but caught if doing they, what? If they catch you, they catch you. What, but what are they going to catch me doing? I'm not buying 15 pair. Well, the bot. You got to remember, the bot moves faster than. A human checking in and doing all the necessary work to check out. I got you, but I so, still doesn't. I, I, maybe I'm just dumb like that. I don't, I don't see where they have an argument if I'm not, I'm not using that speed to game you for multiple pairs. You're, you're seeing it from the standpoint. All I'm doing is trying to get my one pair. That's it. I'm trying to get in faster than anybody else. You yeah. know, I'm just I'm up in the ante, you know, faster than doing some of the other things that people have suggested to me, you know, to do like, you know, set your phone up for Apple Pay and those other things. So that that information is, you know, uh, no different than if you go on a site beforehand and you sign up. So you have all your information already in there as opposed to having to put it in every time, you know, you buy from a particular site. Oh, thank you, Don Turner. Talking kicks is in no way, shape or form promoting bots. 
No, yes, absolutely. We appreciate that. No, we appreciate that, dog. That's he's he's, he's the kicks for the kids. He's the assistant. He's the assistant to the uh, talking kick talking kicks attorney because our number one attorney is is the professor. But uh, he's, he's not on this internet connection, big fella. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I mean, I get it. I don't think I, you know, I'm not trying to get uh, get knocked out like that, but um, um, but I I just for there's some times where I feel like whatever it costs. If it allow, if it helps me get something that I really want, you know, it may it, it would be worth the cost. So let's but, say I, mean, I don't. We're, we're kind of ahead. straying away from the outline here and the time topics, but so let's say for the BC three now, resale is somewhere around three hundred. Mm -hmm. uh, the bot, how much is a bot, Caddy? Do you know, like hundred dollars, um, hundred fifty dollars? It de it depends. It depends on what you're looking for. Um, you're talking about there's certain things you can do, like KB Fresh Kicks may, uh, said it. You can run a proxy and be okay, but it's a lot of work and expensive. Um, Warrior Blood said proxies are cheap. You need VPN to avoid the ban and hella proxies. Oh, wow. So, so when, it's, it's, once you start, go ahead. So you're talking about Pop Pop said, you know, 40 and up. You have some that are up to $500. And you also have ATC, ATC services That's that people correct. offer. Yeah, to add the car services where it can be like anywhere from, depending on the price of the shoe, anywhere from 25 and, and up. Okay. If it's a sought after shoe, it'd be like, oh, okay, $125. So whether I'm getting, I, I, from what I see people are saying in the chat, it's just so I make sure I, I'm understanding correctly. It doesn't matter whether I'm getting one pair of 500. It, they, they feel that I'm gaming the system by mm -hmm. using that by, as an advantage. Um, I'm going to be penalized for that. Okay, no bot for me. Yeah, <laughs> right. the, the way they're looking at it as is you can use that bot every time something you want comes out. Even if you're getting one, you're pretty much you, you're getting a head start before everybody else. Yeah. So they're like, we're gonna shut well, that down. No, I'm not I'm not getting it beforehand, am I? Because if they're not opening up the door, I can't. But it's I'm getting I'm slipping in as soon as there's a you know the first crack of daylight but yeah, most people can't get in that fast. and that's and that's what they're looking at it as it's like opening the door and there's gail devers and yeah you got to beat gail devers to the to the finish line <laughs> hey well you know she put in the, she put in that work to be the fastest woman in the world so you know you just got to deal with that you can, okay though you know you know and you, you can't penalize her for her good genetics and work let's get to our next topic that we got on the list yes sir uh, this was probably near and dear to OG's heart. I think probably near and dear to his heart than for Caddy and myself. Jordan's over number 14. Ooh. Um, yes. I don't know that I famously have a cutoff number of Jordan's really rock with, but there's some of the numbers that I don't particularly care for. I don't, I'm not a fan of sevens. I'm not really a fan of twos like that. Um, I'm not a fan of nines. And then, of course, once you get over 14, that's pretty much where a lot of people cut off. I've got a pair of 23s. Uh, I've got one pair of 16s. I've got a pair of 30s. Like there's other, I've got scattered shoes throughout there. Mm -hmm. But OG famously has, I'd say, so one through 14. Do you have more of one through 14 or 14 through 30? I have more than, I have definitely have more of one through 14. And but that's some, because you got multiple assumptions. Right, right. I mean, it's, you know, like I have a bunch of ones. So, you know, that, that there's certain things that I really like that are going to, you know, kind of tilt that, uh, say, ones, threes, and fours. Uh, I got a lot of. So that's going to, you know, skew me. Um, uh, I did. So then where do you have gaps? Do you so, have less gaps between 1 through 14 or 14 through like 30 or whatever? I have more gaps right now, 14 through 30, because I'm trying to build. I really, I'm like um, after 20. 20 to 30 is kind of where my gaps are right now. Okay. What you about to say? Um, I was just going to touch back on the previous um, and just say uh, Warrior Blood, the uh, pre previous conversation, Warrior Blood did say something interesting. He said that he got banned from Adidas carding too fast manually. So it's not the IP or anything. Sometimes it's just too fast sends a red flag so there you go That's i just i just thought i thought that was interesting it's like man you you know you clocked me and i'm i'm doing it legit 
Uh, I just got quick fingers. Right. Sorry, you buying too many uh, shoes, big fella. But yeah, I was, you know, there was a lot of discussion here recently about the anything over 14 when those, uh, you know, the, the royal uh, and white uh, 18s drop. And I, I just, I don't. I just don't understand. I think that there's a there's a lot of great shoes after 14, and I, I'm, I, I'm just really interested in terms of like where the chat is on that, and just what you guys think, because I I understand if you just say I don't like that particular shoe, it doesn't matter where it falls in the lineage. I I can get with that, but just to automatically dismiss stuff because it's over 14, I, I don't know, because I I feel like some people who say that. They're too young to really, they just going along with, they heard somebody else say it. So that's what they, you know, that's the popular thing to say. I, I would probably say for me, I think after 14, a lot of the designs get weird and I don't particularly like the design. Like I don't, I don't even know a lot of the numbers over that because I don't like the shoe. So when we get to like whatever shoe that was and Dwayne Wade Ward has got the, the, the side number is that. It's got yeah. the circle window on the side. We were just talking that's, about that the other day. Is that the 2012? Yeah. I think you're right. Yeah. That was the joint that the like, Wade used to rock when he first came in. That shoe was horrible to me. <laughs> shoe, like, when I first saw it, I was like, that's a horrible shoe. I don't understand. Um, I think the 16 is dope. And then they started, like, one thing I've noticed about Jordan is that usually there's like two or three that you can see inspire the next shoe. So when you go from like the 10 and the 11, if you look at them, a lot of that shoe is kind of similar. The toe and shit like that. Mm -hmm. If you look at the 16 through, what is it, the 18 with the shroud shit, it's like, okay, we, we see where you're coming from. But then once you get over like 20, for me, it starts to get really weird. <laughs> it starts to get really weird. And I just don't do numbers or not. It yeah. starts to get really it's just weak. like for me, like 23s are like one of the dopest silhouettes in his line to me. And I would I, I would say the 23 is an outlier because 23 too. And um, but you know, I mean it's you know, there's no right or wrong answer, as I like to say, you know, it's <laughs> kind of obviously what you mess with, but I, I just feel like sometimes, like I tell you what it really tripped me out. Somebody will see a new retro two. And say, ah, that shoe is trash. And they'll look at the 32 or the new, you know, Westbrook, <laughs> and they'll be like, oh man, that shoe is so dope. It's the same shoe. Yeah. So, you know, it's just like crazy. But you know, I, you know, diff different moves. I, I just I just wish that people would have less of that. And you know, for me, one of the reasons uh that I I buy shoes sometimes that I don't necessarily in terms of certain numbers because I do my goal is to like have at least one of every silhouette in my collection at some point. You know, I'm not rushing to do it, but okay. at some point to, to to have at least one shoe. So like the 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 um 2012s, I I may only find one that I like or just get one. You know, I might find one that's in 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 good condition. It may not necessarily be. The oh, you definitely, you definitely find some in good condition because nobody <laughs> want that shit. <laughs> don't know, but don't nobody want that shoe. Wow, please make the buzzer go. I, I, I mean, we don't like that, but it is going now. Let's, let's, like we were right there, right in the chat say. Yeah, I'm trying to see. Uh, looks like uh, Layback09 uh, says he's rocking with a 15, 16, 17s, and 18s. Yes, sir. Uh, 15, 16s, and 17s. Very nice. Dre Day Kicks is definitely loving uh, the 23s. Uh, KB Fresh yeah. Kicks. Uh, what is uh, it's, it's basically saying 15 through 21 are just too bulky. Yeah. Um, I got to disagree on that because oh, no. 17s to me weren't bulky, especially the 17 lows. Like the 17 and, lows to me was and like, one of the dopest ones after 14. Like the two and the five are not <laughs> two of the biggest, bulkiest shoes in the whole collection. I mean, the five, you don't even have to, you don't have to your jeans or pants to pay before five. That big motherfucker's gonna show. 
Yeah, um, fives. But that tongue. <laughs> yeah, pause. But I, but I hear you. I mean, different, different, uh, <laughs> you know, di- different, different strokes for different folks, as they say. But I encourage you try. You know, try something that you've not um, thought about. Uh, you know, troll eBay some night and just look. You know, kind of see because sometimes I see a silhouette and. I would think, oh man, I don't like that. But I, then you see a particular colorway, and the way the colorway mm-hmm. sets the shoe off, it 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 changes your whole you know point of view in terms of about the shoe because they do it in a way that is like you know is very aesthetically pleasing. I'm with that. Uh, any more comments from the chat before we move to the next topic? Uh, Buckeye City Soul says uh, 18s, 21s, 23s. And 31s is what he's rocking with over 14s. And props, props to Buckeye City Soul, man, rocking with us from the Monday midsole. Y'all can catch them at uh, 8 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time on Mondays, thus the name Monday midsole. Buckeye City Soul, One Leg Lister, Molly Mall, Polos and Jays, and Unbox App, man. Take care of yourself. Um, you know, we we keep the we keep the week locked down. Y'all want to talk about shoes and topics? We got y'all faded over here, man. We talking oh, snakes. Thanks. And you know what? Shout out to uh, to 804 and Dunn's Kicks and Pop Pop and the Piano Guy. Uh, you know, they're trying to lock up Saturday night. Yes, sir. Saturday uh, night live with the fellas. Yeah, check them Saturday out. Night live. Uh, I want to okay. say 7 o'clock um, on Saturday. So Easy. definitely, you know, check them out. They uh, they made their maiden voyage this past Saturday. And, uh, you know, we are sometimes struggling through those um Technical difficulties, but yeah, they they doing something nice over there. So y'all definitely check them out for sure. Now, can I say something about that too? Now, eight oh four. Last week I talked about eight oh four not picking up those shoes for me. Correction, he asked me in the post. He's like, "Yo, where's the story at?" I didn't get that notification. But then I want to put him back on the burner because how do you <laughs> see me post every day and I didn't know y'all had a show? You see me post every day and I didn't know y'all had a show. I just saw the message uh, today and I was like, "Wait a minute, they doing this?" 804, yeah, come on, man. Keep hey. me in the know, man. We want to support you just like you support us. R- Real talk, they did kind of slip it in on the low, though. You know, it was kind of like I I just actually was that day. I had I was in my phone really heavy because my daughter was at the mall and I had to wait for her. She was at a birthday party, and I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. Is it so is do they have their own channel? Is it set that live? Or is so, it on somebody's um, channel? It was posted on uh, Pop Pop Lewis uh, on the K Squad uh YouTube channel. Okay. Um, so, so as far sure as I know, follow. uh y'all 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 chirp up in the chat. Uh 804 pop pop. You know, is it gonna stay um on the on the cave squad channel or or do folks need to uh look for you guys someplace else? So definitely, you know, if y'all in this chat, first of all, hit the like button. We'd appreciate it if you're watching the show. Please, um, and, please. And we encourage y'all to follow each other, man. Like we don't want this just to be a thing that we do on Wednesday nights. We we like to watch if y'all got YouTube channels, we want to watch. Um, you know, Sports Guy Q got his winning package. He's got a video up on his YouTube channel. Watch that unboxing, see all the good stuff he got. Um, V's Kicks, you know, she's finally getting back in the swing of things this year. Make sure you check her out. She just did a giveaway. Q the sure. Queen is back to putting up videos and back to giving stock eggs her whole damn check. Make sure you check her out. Like, we Wait. really want to rock with y'all channel. Wait, and always that- remember, both of them ain't shit, okay? Okay. <laughs> Wait, Don Turner, you was at a Rundle Mills? Bruh, I was at a Rundle Mills that same day. You probably walk right past me. It's like, who's that old dude with some sneakers on? He need to Don Turner wasn't at the baby. Yeah, he wasn't paying attention to you. He had that baby <laughs> right, right in front of his face. Like, 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 like this. Oh. Hey, yeah. hey. Yeah. I've been looking at nobody. Yeah, he, it's like my beautiful He was baby. wearing that baby like the alien creatures. The baby, oh, the aliens was just like, oh, dude, over there waving like, hey, Don. Don, fuck out my face. Over here. Right. My Ooh. baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. He probably so that, mush, mushed me in the face for real. That topic about the Jays over 14 kind of leads us to the next topic that we got, submitted by OG, the presidential one. Um, there was a comment made last week or this week that Jays essentially started the sneaker culture. That, you know, if there were no Jays, there wouldn't be a sneaker culture. Now, of course, you know, my old Stokely ass would go in on that shit. Because I'm one of those dudes. Like, as a hip hop person, uh, that that statement is false. Because a lot of culture in this country comes from the streets. Mm-hmm. So when we talk about the streets, we talk about b boys. We talk about hip hop. We're talking about pumas. We're talking about 
Chuck Taylors. We're talking about Adidas. We're talking about Nike SBs. We, you know what I'm saying? Like, if there's anything out there to be made cool, we're making it cool, whether that's the culture or not. Basketball shoes became the stylish shit to wear. The motherfuckers were comfortable. Well, that's what we was rocking. The, the Puma Clydes, those were basketball shoes. That became the culture. You started wearing, like, especially, Caddy, I know you can speak to this shit, too. For New Yorkers, the shoe that you wore would tell you what borough you was from. Yes, you know what I'm sir. saying? Like, that's that's how the shit worked. If you, so, you had on shell toes Adidas if you was from Queens. <laughs> that's how the shit worked. I'm saying we made the culture. And that, that was before Jordan. Jordan's came around when? Was that 85 or some shit like that? 85. Mm-hmm. So, No. No Jordans, no culture. That's not, that's not correct. I will say Jordans made a huge split in the culture. And a lot of the growth of the identity and community that we share as sneaker love comes from Jordans. Like there's I collectors, maybe this guy who just miss so I don't know many collectors who can walk around and say that they don't have multiple pair of J. Like it's just kind of your thing. Most of us. I would I would say even in this chat, how many people we got on the show right now watching? Uh, twenty five. So out of the twenty five watching, I would probably say that twenty five of them have at least seven pair of J's okay. out of their whole collection. Like it's, it's essential, and some of those will be multiple. So for me, that that question doesn't really make sense. Uh, OG, what about you? What do you think about the question? I, I mean, this is like alley oop. I I I think that I would agree that um, that Jordans. Um, push the envelope, you know, they, they force, you know, things into places and they drive the culture. Fa- still. Fa- uh, uh, and I, I won't even say not, they didn't bring it to places that we would have never been, but I think it, it, it accelerated, uh, you know, the, um, the reach um, of sneakers and, you know, the crossover into fashion and the accept- accessibility, acceptability, you know, to kind of cross, you know, rocking your shoes, your shoes with sneakers. Um, and it may not necessarily be Jordans. It could be, you know, like a pair of Chucks or, you know, you know, some, you know, whatever, Give whatever you Air you're, Force you're, Ones, please. You're thinking, yeah, absolutely. Air Force Ones for sure. Uh, early, early, early determiners of, of, you know, of uh, a sneaker culture. Um, for sure. And I mean, there's there's shoes that fell off and are starting to come back in again that, you know, like the, you know, the feelers of the world, uh, et cetera, um, that, you know, were, you know, were very, very, very big, yeah. uh, you know, in, in, in the onset of this. So I, I, I can't agree that, you know, no Jordans, no culture, uh, but I will say that they were definitely very influential they're kind of like the yeah the, the rocket fuel that got poured in the engine you yeah know, it made things go I, a whole lot faster i would say that i would say jordan's influenced the culture however people have to remember jordan almost went to adidas yep. and if oh, jordan God. would have went to adidas think about how much the culture would have changed because adidas was was hidden yeah it, you had the nike air force ones but you had shell toes and mm-hmm. uh, can you imagine if Michael went, went over to Adidas and they would have hit him with something? You got to remember, at one time, those those Ewan attitudes were were monsters in the game. Mm-hmm. So, like it, Nike influenced Nike. Well, Jordan influenced a lot of the culture. It influenced the culture going forward, but. That culture was already there. Like Q mentioned it, Puma Clydes. Yep. Puma Clydes. I, I remember when I used to play basketball in a kid when I was in CYO, and I had on a pair of Jordans and slipped across the floor, and the coach said, if your regular shoes just slip and slide, get you a shoe with the star on the side. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, and, and that's the, that you know that's what my brother grew up on. He grew up on yeah. Converse. He grew up on Pro Models. He grew up on on uh, PF Flyers, and yeah. like you had all these shoes that that paved the way just to get to Jordan. 
So, so the culture would have still been around. You know, it would have been different. Yeah. We probably be we we probably be collecting something totally different. We probably be like, oh yeah, I got these Adidas over here. You know these these Adidas Boost Jordan twenty threes over here or something like that. <laughs> you know, <laughs> got these Boost thirty twos right here. So, when I think about this question, I think about like the love that I've seen, and Nike's been really active with bringing back a lot of stuff from the eighties and nineties. The Dion's, shout out the Dion's, the Joe Montana, and a lot of the others, all those are Air Turfs and, and Air Max coming back, and they're doing well with them. Mm-hmm. I feel like that that shows you there's another lane for the culture and our memories than Jordan. Like Jordan is still Jordan is the marquee, but we still gonna watch the pre fights. We gonna be here for the pre fight. We gonna watch the main event, but we want to see the fights too. This other shit yeah. still matters. True. Yeah. Cause- What's the chat? No. That is saying <laughs> warrior, uh, not warrior blood. I'm sorry. Q the queen said humans look like a foot brace. Okay, now wait a minute. We, what we're not gonna do is talk about a very important <laughs> part of this. Talking kicks is Ewing's. Yeah, well, you know, it's it's it, that the 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 uh, the onslaught of that uh, um, started with uh, the comment uh, Ewing's were boo boo here. Uh, thank you, Buckeye City Soul. And it just kind of went Damn. down from there. But it's all good. You know, everything ain't for everybody. We know Listen, that. Man. Listen, I grew up looking at kids who had on them royal blue Ewans with the basketball hanging on the side. It, wanting to pair like, Mom, can I get a pair? Hell no. You're going to get these Stan Smiths and you're going to wear them the whole summer. Mm. I don't want no Stan Smith. That kind of leads us to our next topic, too, on this list. Um Streets versus the internet. Which moves the culture the most? I guess we could say in two in 2018, uh, not 2112. God damn it, over there, sneakerholic. In 2018, which moves the culture? The street, like what you actually see, or the internet, mm-hmm. Instagram, social media shit. Which one do y'all think is more important to the to, to the shoe culture, Caddy? I would say. <sighs> I would say the game has changed. It's now so, social media. It's now the internet. Because before, when we, when when I was younger, um, you know, you always looked at a kid's shoes, and you know, you see them fresh new Jordans. Like I don't know if anybody remembers this. Remember on the Jamie Foxx show, he had um, he got the boy them shoes. Randall Brown. Yeah, he got the yeah. he got the Jordans, and he opened the box and was like. The big, big homies, big yeah, homies. the big homies, yeah. And he got, he got the, you know, he got the shoe, and he showed it to, him. yeah. And we, we, we all looking in the box to see those, those, those Columbia Elevens, like, oh. And yeah. then it's like you see them on feet, on somebody's feet, you were just staring, and you wanted a pair. And you know, if you grew up in an urban neighborhood, you know, you saw all different types of sneakers. You you mm-hmm. saw the the Air Unlimiteds. You saw the Air Force Highs. You saw Jordans. You saw Ewans. You saw M Squad Feelers. You saw the Mashburns. All that. Now social media. You see. You look. What catches you is that dope sneaker pick. And then the dope sneaker hey, man, pick. <laughs> One late listen. I'm gonna go ahead and say right now, bro. If you're watching this show. I'm gonna need you to start sending me some money because you take some ill pictures and make me want to buy whatever the hell you show in that picture. And that's that's what gets you. The minute you see that dope sneaker pick, it's like, oh, I need those. I need I need those. I need those. I need those. There's a, you can look at a shoe and be like, to see it in the store and be like, no, nah, I don't think th- I want those. But you see it with the right outfit in a sneaker picture, and you like, I'll be right back. Where you going? Back to the Nike store because I need those in my life. Look, Buckeye City Soldiers took a picture this week, and he had Flint 13s, which I need, and the Obsidian 12s. I've never been one to really look at or give a shit about the Obsidian 12s. That picture made me want a pair of Obsidian 12s. Yeah, I, I'm going to need y'all to ease up on the Ewings because you're going to be hard-pressed to tell me that those shoes aren't any more bricks than high-top Air Force Ones. Back in the day, that was still chaining ball on your feet, so... 
dog. Come on now. Come on. Come on. Trolling in the chat. Yo, man. Buckeye is just, he's just turning that pot over there. He got it. Every time it dies down, <laughs> he got a new joke. <laughs> but, but you, you know, I'm going to tell you the thing is, like, when I'm on the train, like, Back in the day, it used to be, you know, you see somebody shooting their feet, you see him staring, and then, you you know, you catch him staring, you look at him, they give you the head nod, and you give him the head nod back and everything like that. People don't do that anymore. They give you a like on Instagram. They give you a like on Instagram, or they or they, they give you a, what you call it, they give you a feature on their page, like, you know, shout out to my man, you know, but guy said he so who killed him in the game, and it's like 80,000 likes on it, and like, mother, damn, I need to get those. Mm. Or, or I need Buckeye Show to shout me out. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Buckeye, shout me out. I got a, I got, I got an East Grant Hills. And, and Buckeye just texted me. He said, "Nigga, take some real pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Step your picture game, my bastard." That's what he just said to me. I know he ain't texted me, but that's what he said. Um, I, so, is I it, wish we could go back to the streets, though. Go ahead. <laughs> it, so that's that's what I was about to say. So, is it is it technically social media, or is it just the change of media? Because you would have magazines, you have advertisements, you had TV shows, like you said. Is it any different than that? Yeah, I would think. I, I think. I guess the difference is that it's 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 in, it's in the hands of the people now. It's not yeah being pushed. Because remember, back in the day, what pushed it was like I don't know if you remember this. You remember in school when kids would bring the East Bay book? Yeah. And y'all would look through the East Bay book like, I want those. I want those. And you start circling shit in the book. Yeah. Or a slam, or a slam magazine. Really the East Bay book that day. Let me see it. Let yes. me see it. K- KB, he fresh kick said it. You used to get that slam magazine. And that was it. You be going through that slam magazine to see either the dunk of the month or what shoes they had on feet and what shoes was coming out. That was it. And you would and, see and this. So school. I guess that's. That's the difference. It's, it's, it was localized because there wasn't social media. So the people in, in, in my class in homeroom, because I had the, the East Bay book, those were the people that saw the shoe and knew it was coming out. Mm-hmm. And the people who weren't in my classroom or in my neighborhood may not have known because they didn't have the East Bay book, so they didn't know it was coming out. But now you see a picture. We know when drops is coming. Everybody knew the Timberlake drop was happening the moment it happened. And I yeah. think that um, on the Monday Midsole, when Boos God was talking about it, he kind of mentioned that that's kind of how – he got away from Nikes is, is the way the culture changed. You used to have to hunt and search and be in the right place at the right time. And now it should drop in. We got people picking up shoes that's not even in their area. You you buying shoes that's over released in Europe and China and shit. You're not even there, but you're able to cop them because of social media. So that shit is kind of crazy. Yes, sir. OG, what do you think about this real quick? Um, yeah. I it's definitely uh social media. Um I just because we're a global community now and it's all because of, you know, the accessibility uh, that that, you know, all forms of social media provide. I think back in the day, it was interesting that like we're having this discussion and like, Caddy, you have this you have a different perspective of um, just to go back on the conversation of Ewing's, because, first of all, there's a player that played in New York. Mm-hmm. Y'all so, got what you tight about these viewers. No, 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 no. I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> uh, I could even use the Air Force Ones and how, like, you know, there was a period of time where they were only in Baltimore. And that was that mm-hmm. was the shit in this area. Air Force mm-hmm. Ones and Foams. And there's Foams is maybe an even better example because outside of the DMV, you don't really necessarily see Foams get major love like they do in this area. And and I swear to God, I never saw Foams until I moved to Maryland. I never saw phones, and it's and it but it was like that was that was the thing here, yeah. you know. There's certain places like out in Cali where it was some. I think somebody earlier in the chat said something about Cortez's. You know, there's certain yeah. certain certain areas mm-hmm. outside of L.A. where Cor- Cortez is king. Yeah, uh, certain areas in, in L.A. where you wear some Cortez, you bought that action, boss. Yeah, right, true, mm-hmm. true, true. So you know, I I think that. In some respects, that's some of what we lost that kind of it's now more you see same things across a larger swath just because mm-hmm. now, you know, the information is so, you know, far spread, uh, uh, you know, in that way, you know, kind of everybody getting hit with the same brush, so to speak. That's, you know, that's a, I'm glad you, you jumped in on it. I hadn't I hadn't even thought about that. Everybody's dressing like everybody. It's kind of like, again, you know how I do. 
hand in the air. I'm talking about hip hop again. It's kind of like when Atlanta busts on the scene, nobody really knew who Atlanta rappers were. And now everybody raps like they're from Atlanta. New York rappers rapping like Atlanta rappers. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the same thing. There's no, the, the local neighborhood has gotten huge as shit. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Right about that. A lot of people out here dressing like Ali Vida. Ali Vida's not here. But a lot of people out here dressing like Ali Vida, the neighborhood that got real big. Right. So that's pretty dope. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I just, I looked at the outline here. We got like one more question to ask, but I also completely forgot about releases. Teddy, were you able to get releases together? Yeah, yeah, yeah let's, ready. Yeah, let's let's, so let's, let's do one more topic and then do releases. Okay. That, that work for y'all? Yes, sir. Okay. I was just gonna say we could just go straight into releases because if we still want to spend some time with the chat, but yeah, I definitely want to holler at the people because we're not gonna be here next week. So, Katie, if you're able to get the releases up, um, because uh, we're gonna be gone for a minute, <laughs> so we want to make sure you know y'all know. Look, I'm telling this y'all because right now, because some of y'all ain't shit. Uh, next week for Valentine's Day, uh, either love the person you with, love the person you want to be with. Please don't catch a stalking case. We're not gonna be here. There's no show. We're not. We're not. Do you want to know why? You probably. It doesn't matter because we're not. But uh, uh, my anniversary actually is Valentine's Day. Uh, my wife and I are celebrating 20 years oh. this year, and uh, I'm not going to be on the podcast. And um, Caddy's fiance is soon to be married. Caddy. They also have an anniversary that they're celebrating for Valentine's Day. Well, special. This is special. I don't want to say anniversary because. Once you get married, there's no more anniversaries. It's the wedding. Like, there's no more our first date, our first kiss, the first. No, we got married. This shit we said. It's the only anniversary. That's it. So, you need to get those anniversaries, the special days in now because it's about to be over. <laughs> Appreciate it, family. Appreciate that, Buckeye, KB Fresh Kicks, and Q. You know, some things just need to be left unsaid, sis. What you, you say? What you say? What she you said, say? you on your list, she added, or just love yourself. Girl, we do. Yeah. You. You. Yeah. I'm going to need you to get it together and yeah. act like this is not. This is not a family show, but we talk about listen, loving yourself. Listen, listen, listen. This ain't Showtime. <laughs> this ain't BET Uncut. Yes. Come on, man. Hit me with these releases. I'm going to lock you in on the screen. <laughs> All right. First up, for the ladies, for Valentine's Day, we have that Air Jordan 8 Valentine's Day. This is for the lover in you. Uh oh Brian, me Nike. Hey, what you going to do? What, what you thinking uh, about this, this red thing right here? I don't have a problem with those. How? I don't need another red suede shoe. So I would literally, if I could, I would get two pair of the alternate um, Bugs Bunny joints, the mm -hmm. alternate, and I would take one of them and make them red. I think the shoe looks dope. What you think, OG? So, you, you know, eights is not like mm, the best shoe for me. I, right. and, but I'm, I'm going to tell you that I just have an issue with like, I don't know what it is about an all red shoe that just makes people go crazy, and I just so it's it's decent looking, but mm, I'm don't need it. It's corny to have all red shoe for Valentine's Day, but it wouldn't be the first time somebody did something corny. So hey, oh you you like it? I love it. Oh wow, rude. Oh, gee, I ain't rude. Rude. you corny rude. motherfucker! In the <laughs> He's like it's corny. You want rock all red, but do you? <laughs> Next, we have the City of Flight Air Jordan 9. Uh, mm, nah, nah, no, 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 no. I don't, I, I don't think these are bad. I, they're not $190 worth, but if they hit the outlet... You can come on home. Wow. What was that? Do you know how bad that shoe's going to look when there's any dirt on it? 
Lord Jesus, hold on, my eardrum is gone. Lord yeah, Jesus. Yeah, just, <laughs> did he get loud all of a sudden? Bro. Yeah, bro. It sounded like he was talking through the McDonald's. Wow, <laughs> dude. That was like, Ryan, get him. A cheese bubble. <laughs> <laughs> you you yeah, know bro. it sounded it sounded like the alien movie when you finally <laughs> hear the alien true voice and it just sounds like a whole bunch <laughs> of a, 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 a electronic squealing <laughs> that, that, that pierces and like there's blood coming out of my eardrum right now you just can't see it because the earplug is holding it in oh shit thank you courtyard he got he got aliens working the drive through. Damn. Thank you, Queen. Yeah. I said the ice cream machine is broken. Like, damn. My ear. <laughs> oh, Thank man. you, Queen. Yeah. Uh damn, I didn't know the shoe was gonna piss you off that bad. Moving to the next one. <laughs> we have the Nike New York City's finest pack. Uh Showing love to the New York City firefighters. Trash. How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> all, this I is, shoe. all I need is the highs out of this pack. I just want the highs. Wow, they fan. just can't stay off. Okay, this is just all jokes on you. They still talking about the Ewing. Yeah, man, it's you know every opportunity to make a next joke. I'm I, good on me, sir. Yeah, I'm. I'm not gonna say trash, but I, you know, you nobody asks you if you hate the little swoosh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. No, the little swoosh is a problem. <laughs> Whatever. Moving right along. <laughs> Up next, the shoe oh, Q geez. won't get the PG2 <laughs> PlayStations. <laughs> oh man. Um, I I think the collab is dope. Uh, you know, of course, the little light up uh insignias on the tongue is a nice touch. In terms of this being his second, you know, like the second version of his shoe, I'm kind of disappointed. Wow. Wow, really? Yeah, for me. It's not. It's not that it does to me. It doesn't. It didn't bring the design forward enough. Mm. Like safe. Jeez. I got you. Um, I take them. <laughs> no, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, did, I didn't say it was bad. I know I know, I know. I know you didn't say it was bad, but I'm just saying I will take these. Thank you very much, Yickety. Yeah, I'm on these too. They dropped what February 10th. February um, 10th via the draw. And Foot Locker app reservation. Now, because I feel, can I just thing, point out? It'll probably mean that I'll actually get them. And well, make sure you get them in the thirteen, big fella. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've seen people having these up and asking for like five grand, and I, I just want to know how you have the shoe. How do you have the shoe already? Like, maybe. You how do you have the shoe? Q said, if she was, you know. In another life, she would already had them, and all the swag and everything. With the pound cake. Hey, yo! Moving right along. Moving right <laughs> along. We have the OVO pack. The first of the pack is the OVO eights in white. Whatever. This shit is starting to get real lazy and redundant. Whatever. I mean, it's an eight. You're going to do something and it's going to have some gold and black in it, and that's going to be it. Sure. Okay. Or, it or it's going to have the, um, you know, the OVO logo in there somewhere, and it's going to be what it's going to be. Personally, I'd rather have the championship joints. That's exactly my point. Yeah, that's exactly my point. I'd rather At have least, the championship joints. <laughs> it gave a little bit of something else, which this is a white ad, man. Next, yeah. Up next. Oh my god. I do. Do I even need to say what it is? For, for, the, people, for the people, for the people who are listening on the podcast and can't see the screen, uh, it? it is. It is the Air Jordan Three White Cement. But in this case, known as the dunk contest three from the free throw line. 
red line on the bottom of the shoe threes. <laughs> I'm I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'll be honest, when I first saw the shoe, I said I was out. Um I lied. <laughs> <laughs> Correction. Uh, I'm I'm back in it to win it. I really like the black cement threes, but I I actually feel like the white cement threes for me might be one of the top three Jordans of all time. Okay, it's just it's it's such a nice fucking shoe that like I I was gonna wear mine the other day and I was like yeah I got a pair but I'm like damn having a crispy pair to pull out would just be ill. So yeah, I, I'm in. I'm still concerned about that blue soul, the clear soul. But I'm yeah, in. that's 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 my main concern. But I'm not gonna lie. If I get these, I'm gonna be hype, beastish as hell. I'm getting me a pair of Chicago Bull shorts. I'm getting me a pair of those thick white socks and fold them down like Mike used to do. And I'm <laughs> out here in these streets looking like a plus size MJ. Like. Woohoo! Fly, Michael, Michael Jordan fly. with an S. Woohoo! <laughs> it's Michael Jordan with an S. Exactly. I'm looking like two Jordans. <laughs> yeah, Michael Jordan. I heard Bonner said, "Just bring back the regular white cement threes. We agree oh, yeah. with that too. We, we agree. But until then, <laughs> these will do. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I like. I really feel like I. So I've got both pairs. I've got this pair, and I've got the black cements. If I could only get one or the other, I would probably get the white pair because the white pair would just be crispy as hell to pull out the box. Yeah, those, those white pair, you break those out in the summertime, it's going to be like, ooh. Curtains, bro. Ooh. Oh, DT, we'll talk about that at, at the end. Uh, Up next, and let me zoom in on this picture a little bit. There's no need. Yeah. It's, you, it's, you, already, you already know what it is. It's the OVO 8. And so this is black and in, in, in new buck. Is that new buck in the middle? Black, new buck, and hints of gold. Oh, okay. No. And let let me say this, and let me <clears throat> excuse me. Trash. Absolutely. There we go. Absolutely. Right. Moving. It's a lot of damn eights. Is, it, is that the year for 2018? We doing Jordan eights? Probably so. Up next. The LeBron 15 All Star Hollywood Walk of Fame. Mm. Mm. Still not the colorway for me. I still, I'm still out in the, the Darth Racky 15. I, 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 I was disappointed with this. I, I don't. I'll take them. Okay. Not surprised. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I'm good. I, I don't understand the pink and gold shit. It's just a weird looking shit. But I'm pretty it's, sure it's, they'll be fresh. Uh, it's based off the um the stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. No, I I, I got it. Oh, yeah, I still don't like it. Mm. But at least I understand why the color is there. Up next, the KD <laughs> Ten, <laughs> the KD <laughs> Ten All Star Santa Monica. <laughs> what size uh -huh. is that? How, how, that's probably, that's probably Katie's actual shoe. <laughs> wow. Katie out this here wearing yeah. This shit is horrible. Yes. How not to market the shoe. <coughs> that, that shit is sock, sock B. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, let's go ahead. All we got is 18. We'll put the 18 on. we just make it look good. Katie, let's buy your shoe for a minute. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. Shit is oh. Cool. Man, that shoe looks horrible. Katie, you go wear that in the All-Star game. Good luck, big fella. I don't know what that shit what looks worse, his hair or those shoes? Them look like some bleach drop fit tops. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't. Oh. Okay, what's the colorway? A uh, dryer lint. <laughs> wow. That shit is horrible. Oh, be before I forget, fellas, um, Ricardo Bonner. Um, I talked to Dez this week. Um, he's definitely looking uh, to get with you about uh, your custom. Uh, now, you know, the Super Bowl is done. Again, congratulations on your win. And uh, definitely, uh, you know, want to get you guys uh, linked up and having that um, conversation so they can uh, get started. 
uh, on uh, on your custom. This shit like kindergarten play though. That shit is terrible, bro. Yeah. Next, the Kyrie for All Star tie dye. What's the story behind this one? Kyrie was in the skateboarding. <laughs> That's pretty much it. <laughs> so, wow! Now I'm, I'm totally disappointed. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah. Okay. These look like these are like the Kyrie Bill Waltons right here. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I see this shoe. And all I can think about is Bill Walton being like, as I look at this shoe and think about the slings and arrows and the many of days I played for the Trailblazers and the aroma of the Rose Garden Arena as I played. <laughs> like, nah, bro, I'm good. As the peyote came into the room, no, I, 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 I need a tie dye shoe to have more color in it. Like that's a very good point. I just I'm 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 lost right now looking at it. Like why? I'm good. Are they both the same? Like are both shoes the same? It looks like it. I mean, you can just kind of <laughs> see the. My guy said bullets in the windshield force. <laughs> that is correct. That is correct. <laughs> that's exactly what it is. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Moving right along. The Russell okay. Westbrook, why not? Zero yeah, point one. I finally pinpointed what I don't like about this shoe. What is it? It's that big ass heel. Ah. I couldn't figure out what it was about the shoe. I was just like, something's off. I don't like the heel. I'm going to say this. When I first saw this shoe, I was like, this shoe is not bad. Here's my issue. If anybody saw the game last night, Russell Westbrook's strap Ooh. came loose. And he stepped on it and busted his ass. Yes, and I said busted his ass. E.D. The way his foot moved, it looked like he could have broke his ankle. Luckily, he didn't get hurt, but... When he slipped on that, I was like, oh, no, that's a big no for me. That's a no for me, dog. Yeah. That's a no for me, dog. Straight casual wear, homie, but I don't like that <laughs> heel. It looks like you're putting your foot in something. Mm -mm. Get your thing, OG. I want to see it in here. I, I, I hear what you're saying. I'm look, Especially in this picture, I think mm -hmm. it's because it's so long. And Oh, hey. Pause, no. pause. I said pause. <laughs> It was already bad enough you said you want to see it in hand, and then you just going to go. <laughs> Two boys. Two boys. Okay. You all finish the show. Good night. <laughs> <God bless. laughs> what else we got, uh, uh, Them go toes. Yes, if, sir. If this, if this was a stock, I sold this a long, long time ago. Like when I saw the top three gold ones, I was like, cool. And then the more I looked at it, I do not want, I repeat, I do not want a patent leather Jordan 1. For me, part of the thing I love about Jordan 1 is the way that the toe box looks creased. When you get the right size, patent leather creased, no, sir. I'm not in for this shoe at all. Yo, the minute that gets that first crease, that's pretty much back in the box. Curtains. I want them, but I want them. But I know when I get that first crease, I would be like, <sighs> Curtains. Back in the box you go. Back in the box you go. So now, are all the services uh, patent leather? Or is it just the toe box? For I know the whole shoe, except for the laces and the tongue, are patent leather. Mm -hmm. The ankle collar, the heel, everything is patent leather. And that's what I thought and i was talking actually to somebody over the weekend and they were saying that's not true so i don't know I... Uh, looking at this picture which part is a patent leather i can't really tell about the the toe part the upper part of the toe box the gold portion mm -hmm. it doesn't look necessarily as shiny in some pictures that i've seen um uh, one of the sides uh looks doesn't necessarily look like it's you uh, you about to get banned I just want to take the gold toe out on the date. I want to take the bread toe to bed. Okay, Q. We, we Q. got it. Q. Listen. Somebody hug Q right now. 
Listen, listen. Please, yes, for, yes. For, for Valentine's Day, somebody go get cute and take her out on a nice dinner to White Castle or something. Take it, get her extra cheese. Get a get her the large fries. And get go some cheese on that dog. Buy her two buy, pieces of cheese. <laughs> buy her some Racerbacks. Mm, 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 mm. Moving, moving right along. Mm, mm, mm. The oh. Kobe One Pro Troll. <laughs> I will say. February 17th. Do you want to explain that, sir? Uh, this is the new retro for Kobe Bryant, where they have retooled his shoe with better zoom bag protection, as they say. Uh, as Kobe called it, I believe it was the mixture between performance and retro. <coughs> also known as, as Kobe made up, pro tro. Yeah, that's not going to stick, but okay. <laughs> Um. Hmm. Hmm. I need another colorway. Uh, I don't know. The materials actually look like they're good, but mm. I I bring it down to you like this. I don't know how it's, I feel an, about it. it's a nice shoe. I like the shoe. I'm passing on the shoe because it's not the Prelude one. Well, okay, that's a winner. <clears throat> it looks it looks like a vintage shoe though. It does look like a shoe <laughs> that came out you know in the nineties and shit like that. I'm with it. I think it, I definitely want to see another colorway. Yeah. Um. So I'm not all out. I'm not all out of the shoe, but. Yeah. The Kobe one is a dope shoe. It's a dope shoe on foot. I had the when I was younger, I had the Minneapolis Lakers colorway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but that prelude one on the that styling on the pre, the prelude one on this shoe murdered the game. <laughs> murdered the game. So it's like prelude one or Give me the Prelude or the Minneapolis Laker colorway again. Yeah, uh, Q says, uh, "Do we really uh, do we uh, want intentionally modified retros?" Uh, my answer to that is hail to the yes. If I could get <clears throat> if I could get ones with some zoom air in the bottom of them, I have a rack of ones. I think I think too. This is probably a good point for us to, to jump off in the chat and see what else they got popping. Uh, <clears throat> to that question, she asked specifically. <clears throat> specifically, sorry. Um, uh oh, look at Caddy's inbox. Look at all those emails. Bill collectors. A lot of the a lot of the shoes that I see now that are retro. Like I got a pair of the uh, the pennies. Um, like I think it was the penny one. I got a pair of those. I got a pair of the Dion Diamond Turfs when they first dropped. But not the Diamond Turfs. I think it was the Diamond Turf two, the Shark Tooth side ones. I got a pair of those and I got a pair of pennies and they're the most uncomfortable motherfuckers I had on. Each of those shoes I wore once and sold them. If you can update them a little bit, maybe that involves changing the style style or maybe that just involves changing the technology and updating it. Hell mm -hmm. yeah, I'm in for that. Hell yeah, I'm in for that. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I would think for me, I would love to be able to put on a retro that I could ball in. Uh, Buckeye City Soul said it. I agree with that. I, my thing has always been the one sneaker I wanted to play ball in now that I can't is the old Barclays, the Air Force Maxes. Yeah. The ones that uh, the Fab Five used to wear. Yep. I would love to play ball in those, but they're not comfortable to play ball in. Yeah. Like, as a kid, you know, you go outside and play ball all day and not give a damn. You get up in your 30s and you like, oh, no, 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 no. I need something for these so, knees. <laughs> so if I heard you right, you said Barkley cost the Fab Five the championship. Uh, No. No, 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 no. I what I, what I, what I will them. say is Chris Webber's teammates on the bench cost the Fab Five the championship. Why you tell Accurate. that man to call a timeout? Accurate. Accurate. What else we got in the chat popping off since I can't see it right now? Uh, no. It looks like the chat is agreeing uh, that they would definitely like to see, you know, retros uh, increase, like Caddy was saying, to, you know, be more wearable, playable, uh, as long as they didn't change, you know, the style. 
or you know the look of the shoe so yeah. there's definitely a hit or miss with that right like the converse when they retooled the converse and gave them the uh, lunar line insole and shit like that it's a win it's fucking brilliant it was beautiful then yep. when adidas added the boost eh, yeah eh, to the to the, the shell toes it was like eh, i kind of fucked that up but i think yeah, I think when you did that, you did a little bit too much. Like, if you can do it subtly, where, mm -hmm. or you can do it where it's not inconspicuously. Yeah, that would yeah. that would do the trick. Like, if you could take a a, a Jordan two and change the tooling inside, where you'd be like, okay, we put a full, you know, uh, zoom inside the shoe. You'd be like, oh. Oh, it is you. Okay, I'm, I'm with that. I think if you took a Jordan 2, because for me, a Jordan 2 is one of the most comfortable ones, and you put a full air a zoom unit in that joint, I might never take them off. If I can get the OG white 2s with, with zoom air, that shoe is never coming out. I'll shower in that shoe. <laughs> I don't get that. that shoe is never coming out. Bro. You know, you, you mentioned the, the, the shell toes with boost. They actually mm -hmm. almost got that right, in my opinion. Because they hid the boost, but they just had that part like on the medial side on the arch. Oh, where it was that, exposed. If, yeah. If they had a left that out, you know, and you just couldn't see it, it's all tucked inside. I think that I think that would have been a dope move, dope move. But showing that for whatever reason, uh I didn't think it was necessary, and I think it just messes the shoe up. Mm -hmm. Cause it allows you to, to slide that technology in there, but you know, it's not taken away from, you know, the original aesthetic of the shoe. Oh, absolutely. Before we forget, Don Turner mentioned, what did everybody think about hashtag LeBron watch and the LeBron 15 Dion Sanders joints, the diamond turfs? So we're in, the, we're in a little bit of overtime. So we're doing this as a speed round kind of thing. Um, I thought the LeBron watch idea was dope. I thought the execution was trash i didn't like that shoe i didn't like it and i don't like the the rumored uh nike air max one for that one either i thought the shoe i thought what i thought the shoe was gonna look like was dope in my mind mm -hmm. when i saw the shoe when i saw the diamond turf it left me wanting more there was so much more they could have did with that that battle knit the fact that you can change the colors, you could have made that shoe look very, very similar to the diamond turf, but you didn't. And it kind of left like, okay, we going to throw a little black in the middle, throw a strap on it, put the gold on the, you know, the, the little gold hits on the side and we good to go. No, no. That strap was so disappointing, need, bro. Yeah. I need more. I need more. Now it looked dope on LeBron. It looked dope on LeBron, but I'm not LeBron. So I don't expect that shoe to look, like that on my foot now i will say this and q you hit it right on the head i need to see the griffy mm -hmm. yeah because you you that. can't you can't if you mess up on that griffy then that we have issues do we have issues og i i was not ever a big fan of that shoe so okay. it, it you know it didn't move the needle for me in any way I mean, He's still waiting for the one that make him want to get the fifteen. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Which I think, if that Kiff photo is correct, That's it's Laurel. on the horizon. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. that, the Maverick Carter one, chapter two, with the cream and the floral print and the, the gold zipper. Yeah, that's that's the one that, I'm looking for. That might be my wedding shoe. <laughs> you might see those in a wedding coming to a <laughs> country club near. <laughs> hey, it's a thought. We got anything else in the chat popping? Let me see. 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 Uh, big boy down south, AL Alabama says, "Why won't Nike push the envelope like they did in the '90s?" How so? Yeah. Elaborate on that question because I think in a lot of ways they are. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing. Yeah, I think it's just you have to go with the times. What people, what people are interested in, or basically what what is attracting people. Like in the '90s, 
you know, you had your, you had a, I don't want to say you had a lot more superstars, but you know, you had a lot more signature shoes. You had a lot more signature shoes and Nike was hitting with the right colors and, and everything. Now, I, I don't know. I think there's so much fly knit and battle knit and prime knit and boost and react and, you know, all this other stuff. I, it's basically, this is the sign of the times. Like they're trying new technology, but this, it's not like the nineties. Well, not, you, you get to a point to where you can't, and I, I love, love to hear what he means by that. But if we're talking about the stylings, you can only put some technology into a certain size. Mm. So right now the trend is more fitted, slimmer shoes, all that shit. You can only go so far with a shoe that's supposed to look like a goddamn sock. Socks are selling right now. Socks with soles are what's moving. That's what's hot. So we can't we can't you can't keep adding shit to the shoe to make it look different because people aren't buying it. So you gotta still keep it sleek because the fashion is moving the culture right now. So you gotta go with a more minimalist style shoe. I mean, at this point, we're looking at Balenciaga. This is that Balenciaga shoe. It's like six or seven hundred dollars. It's, it's a sock with a sole. Yeah, pretty much. The it's, end, a sock, but, it's a sock dart. <laughs> I mean, we, we, we yeah. kind of touched in, the, in this subject before, so I, you know, I'm going to re repeat something that I had said previously. Um, real quickly, uh, Sneaker Man VJV says, I think they should take a page from uh, custom from the custom shoe game. I think you know, basically, right now we have like oh, retros style, okay. and we have performance shoes. And the shoes gotcha. that are made for performance, and you know, the players want sturdy, lighter. They and mm -hmm. so you they ain't gonna be a whole bunch of shoes with leather or suede, right? Because those are materials that hold water, that have weight, that don't allow you know your feet to breathe, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And that's not where the technology for performance is going. You know, they want structure and lockdown with little weight. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, structure with lockdown and support with little weight. So you're just going to be seeing more of the stuff that we, especially, you know, us older, you know, are more mature. Uh, you know, people, uh, those are those, the leather and the suede is going to be for retros and stuff that you wear on the street. Um, and it's always now, I think even more, you know, is, is technology going to be cool? You know, you may be all right with uh, fly knit and all that stuff in your runners, but you know, for your basketball shoe, you, you might want something more traditional, but you know, we're raising a generation that other than retros, they'd never worn a leather shoe to play ball in because they don't make them anymore. Yeah. You know, for certain sports, certainly for basketball, not that much anymore. You know, for football or some of those other things, yeah, you still got leather cleats out there that, you know, the kids are wearing. We got anything else to that? wrap it up? Uh, I, no, think, I, think, I think we good money. Yeah, I, I think that's it for tonight. Um, I don't uh really see anything you know i i'll just say last call y'all got any any quick hits y'all want us to hit questions uh that you have just uh, as a reminder uh next wednesday is valentine's day and we will not be here so don't look for the notification cuz there will not be one so we, will, we see will be back the following week that's right so we will see you all in two Wednesdays. So actually our, we'll be coming back the Wednesday after those black cements drop and you'll either see an empty chair <laughs> <laughs> or OG with a smile. <laughs> and if you want to make sure that you don't see an empty chair Y'all know what to do. Help and everybody brother else in the chair. Go to Footage Society. Lock down your pair. Go ahead and holler at Nicole and the crew over there. Get your pair. Maybe you can use that Talking Kicks 10% discount. And uh, secure your pair now, so you ain't got to fight. I think it was, uh, I think Kyler Park, you know, if I if I remember right, I think Kyler Park went ahead and got his pair from StockX or some shit. Some of y'all not playing these games in these streets. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, when I get back home, they got a pair locally for $300. I'm like, hey, might just be time to go ahead and get that done done because I don't, I don't want them problems. Listen, ain't nobody trying to be out in the streets 
you know, on some yeah. color purple shit. Like, all my life I had to fight. <laughs> don't don't let look, for, for for the people that really want that shoe. Don't let these massive gr things scare you. Okay, don't let that get you a false sense of security. And your ass be sitting out here on the outside looking in. If you want that shoe, do what you got to do to shoot your shot to get that damn shoe. Mm-hmm. Every, everybody said nobody was going to get those uh, those OG 18s. And well, them Jones was gone. They was out of here. <laughs> Kali Park said, we about to have another OG sneakers black history moment in two weeks. You got that right. Don't, you know it. Uh, you know that right. That's right, Kali Park. It's gonna be it's gonna be problems up in here. Cases for everybody. Well, since since I got the raggedy connection, I will go ahead and sign out first. Again, I want to say shout out to Footage Society. Make sure y'all holler at them, talking kicks, 10% discount. Make sure y'all check them out. They're getting a lot of heat in. Go up to the website now, fritasociety.com, Talking Kicks, 10% discount. Get your check out. Get your shoes. Check them out. Support small business. That's what we're about. We appreciate them for rocking with us. Um, I want to say thank y'all for dealing with my raggedy connection. I have no idea what this show sounds like for y'all. I'm sorry I couldn't see the chat, uh, but I'm out here in these streets, son. I'm out here in these streets, getting the hard-hitting interviews, asking the questions you want to ask, and kicking people on the streets. Well, maybe not kicking them hard, but I'm just kicking them to get out the way. Um, so thank y'all for rocking with us. Hopefully, if you celebrate Valentine's Day, uh, you have a happy Valentine's Day. Good luck on getting them BC3s. I'm your man, Beer Jedi, a.k.a. Martin Shooter Kane, a.k.a. Jack Swaggers. We're going to keep it short. And I'll holler at y'all in two weeks on Talking Kicks, episode three. Season three or Caddy, what episode would that be? Episode 16. <laughs> uh, Go ahead, Caddy. Tell the people what's up. Uh, family, 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 family. Thank you as always for tuning in. I am your boy, Cadillac Jackson. Be safe out there getting these BC3s, getting whatever you're trying to get from All Star Week. Whatever shoe you trying to get, be safe. Ain't nothing to fight all over. But if you do have to fight, come home with them joists like I got it. I got it. I got it. You can't take this away from me. <laughs> but anyway, it's your boy Cadillac Jackson. Season three, episode two. Episode 16. Holla at y'all on the 21st. Hey family, you done know it's your boy OG Sneakers wishing all of you a happy Valentine's Day. Somebody do me a favor. Send Q the Queen a Valentine. Or some pound cake. Yeah. S- something to let, let you know that she got love from the kick tacos. Please do that for me. Because she need help. She really, really needs some help. And we can't do nothing for she, but we could give her a piece of chocolate. Pause. Hey, yo. <laughs> hey, yo. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yo. Shut it down. <laughs> Shut it down. <laughs> Look, we appreciate you. I, I appreciate you leaving me do the rant last week and get a thing out of my system. So I could make sure I just get the black cement trees. Caddy, I am ignoring you on purpose. <laughs> It's like whatever I said doesn't matter. But anyway, y'all done know it's your boy OG Sneakers wishing all of you total, even my laughing, giggling sneaker family. What love. I can't take it. I can't, I can't take it, a man. Does, I does that mess with you what I think it says? Cut the camera. I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> Wait. Be careful we ask for because we are we, gonna do with it. <laughs> uh, that's what you want to know. I gotta go. We are gay, we are gonna do with it. Go. Please don't answer in the chat Cut because the I can't off. take it. I gotta go. We can. I gotta go. See are you next time. Enjoy your Valentine. Go. I gotta go. <laughs> we can. I gotta go <laughs> Tuesday. Oh, no, son. We're gone.
We're going to see Ayuleta. Really, we got this time. 